We believe that everyone has good intentions and want to be able to offer equitable medical care. Here are a few more scenarios that we recommend you avoid. This happens more often than you might think, especially for visits that are unrelated to audiological reasons. We encourage you to view the deaf patient as a whole person rather than a disability that needs to be fixed, especially if they are not asking for it. Family members, caretakers, and loved ones are not professional interpreters or service providers, nor should they be expected to remain calm under emotional distress and provide communication access. For example, a deaf father and hearing daughter are in the ER. The father is having a heart attack and the nurse asks the daughter to interpret. Would you want your child to interpret for you while you are experiencing a medical issue? Likely, you would say no. The American with Disabilities Act is a civil rights law that prohibits discrimination against individuals with disabilities in all areas of public life, including jobs, schools, transportation, and all public and private places that are open to the general public. This includes medical facilities. These videos and resources will give you a thorough understanding of ADA laws and how you can ensure equitable medical care and effective communication access for deaf patients or deaf relatives, caretakers, and other accompaniments to your patient. When deaf individuals don't get the accommodations they need or their requests for accommodations are denied, they are forced to navigate medical visits with limited communication and access, potentially putting their health care at risk. We thank you for committing your time and doing the work in preventing discrimination against deaf people and to provide the best medical care possible.